The movie I'm shooting right now, I play an FBI agent. In order to accurately portray this character, I need to learn a lot of things, one of which is how to handle a gun. I understand you'll be doing some target practice, stuff yeah, like that, right? Yeah, just, just kind of your basic stuff. It's a strange experience because you show a driver's license, and there you are, you're given a godless instrument of death. And I'm an organ donor in case anything happens out there. That's exactly it, yeah. Perfect. Great. I hate guns, literally. Like... Uh, if you have any problems with the gun or anything like that, come back and let me know. I uh, sure will. If you want to change it out, just bring it back in the blue bucket. Okay. I can't hear a word you're saying. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Okay. Sure. All right. Here we go. Plug your ears, everyone. Guns are anathema to my soul. The second I get one in my hand, I literally have to make sure that I'm wearing an adult diaper. Do you hear that? That room is not the best place for a long, drawn-out meditation. Gun jams a lot. Uh, let's try it again, shall we? There's a lot of rules there, like you can't shoot really fast. I heard the guy come over the loudspeaker like God. I couldn't tell if that was him or just my inner monologue. I'd never make a good gun guy. I'm not too concerned about becoming Billy the Kid. I think I've had enough. Anytime you walk out of a gun range, you feel a little shaken up. Oh, very little dignity in my accuracy, Nolan. There's a lot of work. All you need is a little bit of practice, that's all. Yeah, I suppose so. In the end, I felt like I'm one step closer to being ready to shoot my movie. Even though I'm working on a film, you still have to prioritize the most important stuff, and one of which is, is taking time out to, to spend with my girl. <laughs> Hello. Hi, honey. Good. I love checking her out in her environment and her world. And just kind of sharing that with her really hard, particularly in Hollywood, to spend enough quality time with those that you love. It's great watching her work. She's not in the studio that often. I'm going to jump in. Yeah. Opera, falsetto. Yeah. <laughs> Triangle. Falsetto. If you, if you you'll grab the nuts and twist, I'll do it. She certainly doesn't ask me for musical input. I think the uh, extent of my musical talent lies in you know, playing the triangle. <laughs> It was amazing, by the way. Thank you, honey. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. I love you. I feel very good when I'm hanging out with her. All's right in the world when we're together. <laughs> um, so can I say a few things about you? Is that awkward? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wanted to say that I really think that Ryan is one of the warmest and funniest and kindest and uh, most adventurous and open-minded men that I've ever met. And I feel very blessed to be his friend, let alone his fiance. She and I are very different. I think if I was with a mirror image of myself, I'd, I'd probably just kill it. <laughs> He's pulling cash here, right? <laughs> 200? Uh, well endowed. That's another at least 30 bucks. Another 30 bucks. Okay. I got I got 203 dollars here. You know we're very different. I have a penis. She doesn't. All jokes aside, which is hard to do in this family. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, it is. Truly a blessed soul, this man. It does it. <laughs> I love you. Right now, things are great. That's an amazing time. I'm really grateful for, for, for where I'm at and, uh, and for where I've been. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, sweetie. All right. Want to jump in there and start singing? Yeah. I brought the...
your special triangle. You may go high, mid, low, what do you... Yeah, I think you should wear the helmet this time. <laughs> <laughs>